hello guys welcome back to the channel what do we have here we have a white perch yes a beautiful white perch a fresh fish of a decent size and I'm gonna cook it Cuban style so what is Cuban style I have uh, Cuban seasoning okay and uh, when we say Cuban style, you guys know people living in the Caribbean, uh, they consume a lot of uh, plantains and uh, potatoes, sweet potatoes, stuff like that. So we're going to have this bad boy right here with uh, some plantains and uh, sweet potato. That would be a regular meal in the Caribbean, guys. So... I have a Cuban sauce right here. It's a mix of everything. It's a perfect seasoning. And um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to slice it so the seasoning can get, can spread out uh, evenly and deeper. Deeper and deeper. So. Since the fish is not too big, so I'm guessing this fish within uh, 12 to 15 minutes, it should be like, okay. And we're going to air fry. I'm not going to fry this. I'm going to air fry. So these two slices, it's just to uh, make sure that the seasoning gets into the flesh nicely all right you know what the fish is kind of like small that would be like one meal I can throw in a nice trout that's like having salmon it's beautiful and you know what why don't we do the same thing for the trout as well it's so tender. Look at that flesh. Ooh, my God. You know, guys, um, trout, since trout is the little brother of salmon, you can look. Wow. If you do sushi with this, you're not in the wrong, I am telling you. <laughs> look at it. It's so tender. Ooh. Ooh, wow. All right. We're going to air fry both because the perch is okay, but uh, we're going to double it up. So I have my Cuban seasoning. So that's, yeah. Look at the purity. Look at the colors. Oh, guys, I wish you could taste it. Look at the thickness of this seasoning, the gravy. <laughs> yeah it's the it's the West Indian spices yeah like this let's do this side also let's do this side too like this all right you know I didn't bother of taking off cutting of the tails and all of that because once air fried you know what's gonna happen you can actually peel this off the, the flesh you can just peel it off that's how easy it is with air fry so same thing with this that little dude there yeah so let me see inside should do the same thing yeah the seasoning tastes so good that you can actually dip in vegetables or whatever in it yeah it's that good guys and spicy too yeah very spicy you know West Indian stuff uh, spice, I mean, hot pepper, 
is really not a problem. It's part of the living, just like in Thailand. Hot pepper in your food is part of the, the living. Yeah. So that little dude there. Yeah, you're gonna say, yeah, there's bone, but guys, don't worry. Once air fried, the bones is not a problem. You can just peel off the skin easy, easy. Trout tastes so good that it's well worth the risk. Yeah. I had such a fun time catching trout. I love it and I will go back again guys. I did enjoy it. It's it's different. It's uh, another way of uh, fishing fish. The technique, everything is different. And if I knew how to do sushi, I would probably have uh, uh, trout and uh, you know, like I would probably prepare a fresh uh, sushi if I could, you know. I want to do things right, so I'm not gonna do it if I'm not sure about what I'm what I am doing. <laughs> All right. So, even with two fishes, we can still air fry for maximum 15 minutes at the most. So, okay, let's... Okay, guys, so I'm going to press air fry. Uh, time, we said about 15 minutes at the most. Yeah. 15, yeah, 15 minutes. Let's try that. Fifth, right here, 16 minutes, 275 Fahrenheit. So let's press start. Preheat session is on. And we're going to wait for it to uh, warm it up. And then we're going to throw in the two fishes. Okay, preheat session is over. Now let's have the food. We're going to be gentle. Sprinkle it one more time. <coughs> All right. All right. We are ready to go. So here it is, guys. You know, the white perch is like, it's, it's big enough. You know, I, I didn't need two. Well, anyways, yeah, so it's ready. Let's rock and roll, guys. Yeah, 15 minutes. I can't wait to see how the white perch comes out with the Cuban seasoning and with the plantain, the, the sweet potatoes. I got to show you guys. Let, let me show you. Okay, the session is over. So let's see what our fish or white perch looks like so let's go man it's 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 fried <laughs> solid wow so i was right you know like 15 even 12 minutes could have done it or on a lower like maybe 350 fahrenheit would have done it so now let's prepare that food and see what that white perch just like I like the color of the, the flesh, it's white. It looks nice. Let's check it out. So, okay, guys, there you have it. That's the final uh, product. I can explain to you uh, what, which is which. So, these are the plantain uh, that's really part of the West Indian way of living. And some West Indian will have plantain and pretty much whatever that their the meal is, there would be at least one plantain, a whole plantain. 
and yeah, that sweet potato right there uh, or important is sweet potato to West Indian people if you look at the in the sunshine state you can have a bag of sweet potato there is about like 10 in it for a dollar so that's all important you know uh, when you go to flea market and other uh, uh, open space open um, uh, open space uh, market the Cuban will sell you a bag of of potato for uh, very little uh, so that's sweet potato uh, it's West Indian's favorite it's simple but nourishes and uh, many times that's what the people that, that they have so uh, they go along with it with very little meat you know uh, that's life okay so you have that's the white perch all right yeah air fry okay so that's the white perch along with it is the the trout look at the <laughs> wow did you guys see that it almost looked like uh chicken breast almost <laughs> look at the color of it you know so this is the it tastes like salmon we already know so uh, i know you guys are wondering why is there a ketchup there the west indian people are like that don't be amazed to see west indian people having spaghetti with with ketchup or mayonnaise it's part of their living and they love it so yes in a simple meal cuban meal you you could find stuff like that mayonnaise you know it's simple recipe what makes it uh, what makes this so great is the cuban seasoning you know that is personal to cuba but um the rest you know like ketchup stuff like that it's just uh it's kind of like new to west indian when i say new it's not ketchup and mayonnaise is not part of the culture but uh they use it they like it they like the taste of it they are very creative with it so even in a cuban breakfast you would find ketchup you know so they are very creative and um, that's a simple meal you know and um, as you guys know the final test uh, is to test it and see how everything um, came out you know so let's let's give it a let's give it a try okay guys it's time for testing I am not, um, I know about Cuban food already, okay, so those of you who have had the, the opportunity to travel to the sun, Sunshine State, there are plenty of Cuban there, Cuban restaurants, and, and their food is good, man, you know, so there's no surprises there, but uh, for the purpose of the show, this episode, I have to, you know, like really put it to the test. Uh, naturally, the sweet potato should be like sweet, you know, and don't like, <laughs> don't be amazed if you see people add sugar to sweet potatoes. That's West Indian, all right? <laughs> so you can see all kinds of like funkiness. They can have it with milk. You know, so um, let's give it a try. It's naturally sweet, yeah. But for you, for me, it's sweet enough. A West Indian could <laughs> sprinkle sugar, brown sugar on it. Some even have um, sweet, sweet potato skewer deep and, 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 and sugar so you know the plantain yeah. 
This is very nourishing, guys. You know, uh, if you don't have too much money, that kind of stuff, especially in the West Indies, those people have those things growing in their backyard. <laughs> Like in the Sunshine States, when you're walking on the streets, you have people with sour oranges, papaya, they have mango trees. Yeah, we're just walking on the street and <laughs> yeah, you see people have all kinds of, of stuff. So um, yeah, guys, so that's why, you know, the people the people would eat that and save money and this is nourishes it's got fiber and all of that the key question is is the white perch i'm not worried about no bones no nothing because once it's air fried there's no more problem so that's the It smells good. Guys, that's a good fish. Wow. West Indian stuff are usually pretty good, Ben. Hmm. Yeah. Um, this one here. Hmm. as good as walleye mm -hmm. better than those small yellow perch it's got some bones but don't forget guys the cuban seasoning really really help <laughs> yeah to bring out the, the test, the freshness of the white perch, that helps, <laughs> you know? Those of you who have seen like previous episode, many times, you know, I'm telling you, well, that fish is not that good or whatever, but it depends on the, the seasoning and who is cooking it. You know, actually the white perch tastes uh, amazing that's 7.5 no problem yeah above average of course it is smaller it does have bones you know you gotta be on the lookout for that the flesh looks interesting all right yeah it, it looks interesting um the air fryer did this thing no surprise there it's moist and and nice yeah. but it does have bones because of its size well trout we all know trout is salmon <laughs> that's exactly what it is the flesh is pink or no Yeah, the flesh is pink, so it's it's salmon, the smaller version of a salmon, that's a trout. Well, <laughs> yeah, the trout is way, way better than the white perch. <laughs> well... That's sad, but this is life. Uh, some fish are just up there. Yeah. The white perch tastes good, but <laughs> the trout is way, way. They're both good, but the, the trout is tastes so good. It's got that crab flavor in it too. Wow. 
it's so flavorful guys ooh, ooh. wow and thank god i got four of them so yeah i have four trouts in my freezer that is so good and when you buy them at the grocery they are very expensive <laughs> yes i see why yeah the quality is a one mm. amazing so if i would do like a cuban or just dip in my <laughs> Yeah, I am open-minded, yeah, I am always willing to try stuff, new stuff, so I can learn, it's magic, oh man, wow, wow, <laughs> The West Clinton, they know what they're doing, guys. Wow. Hmm. Sweet potato with, um, with ketchup. And there's a mall. Hmm. Those are simple stuff. They don't cost a lot of money. But look at the joyfulness. Look at the happiness. It's so fulfilling. Wow. Yeah. We have all these opposite flavors that just burst in your mouth. Ooh. So with some plantain, we're going to try the mayonnaise all right see what's this in uh, oh that's amazing how much you can get from Joss down to earth food. West Indian people have become, become very creative. Sometimes when you when you don't have money or enough money then you try to find ways to feed your family and this is amazing. Even if the West Indies are surrounded by the sea, you still got to go and catch that fish. Otherwise, you have to pay it. There are no free fish in, nowhere. Yeah. You must have the still. You must know what you are doing. So don't just think, oh, he's living in the West Indies. All he has to do is just go and get a fish. Not like that. You can, you can spend the whole day and nothing will happen. You gotta have that fishing skills and fish knowledge when they're active, when they're not, and what will get um, them their uh, attention. Guys, this food is an homage and a respect to West Indian people. This is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I am out of my mind because the per the white perch tastes so good. It's seven in and, and point five. And then when I tasted the trout, the trout is no nine nine point five nine. These are greater or greed or amazing that that fish is. And you cannot catch it everywhere. You got to go at remote places to get trouts. Yeah. It's not like you go to your, to the lake around your neighborhood and you're going to catch them. And you got to have the right setup. 
guys this food is amazing I really enjoy what I'm seeing what I tasted uh, if you're foreign to that you can give it a try if your wife or whoever's the best cook can try can give it a try and you go one at a time you can try sweet potatoes and see how it tastes like and you know it's already sweet so right from the get-go little children will like it because it's sweet not over sweet but sweet the plantain give you that that chip it tastes like chip but this is not chip it tastes like potato so it's got that funkiness in it that meal is amazing and I'm guessing that's why most West Indian would have this with uh, mayonnaise and, um, and and ketchup it's it's such a, a match made in heaven so thank you so much for watching guys uh, I want to go back out uh, trout fishing. Uh, I would not mind mind having uh, 10, 15 in my freezer. That fish tastes so good, and they are so expensive. Yeah, you know. So uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. Get your friend to follow the the channel. We're always doing uh, interesting stuff. So. Uh, you guys do something for me, you take care.